has finally come and I'm um, bringing home my newest addition to the family. There's a tow truck behind me right now. Uh, I can see it there. I don't know if you can make out what's on the back of that, but it's something uh, I think is not like anything I've ever owned before. So uh, we're gonna basically uh, pull up to my place and uh, watch this thing backed off the truck. And my goal today is to get the thing running because I'm, I'm being told that it's gonna start right up, that the engine runs fine, and that all, all I'm gonna do is put a battery into it and a little gas in the carburetor and it's gonna start right up. But uh, we'll see if that really, really is true. All right, so. Here she is, not really sure what year it is, but it's an International Harvester Travel All 1200 and uh, front end's been changed, you can tell, by the different color. It actually came from the Millbury, Massachusetts Rescue and Service. Um, so this was Millbury's first rescue truck. They had a couple of fire engines, but it wasn't until the 1970s that they got uh, set up a rescue squad. Um, so they bought this truck used and refitted it to be a rescue vehicle. And I, that's from uh, folks in the fire department that I talked to, so I got a little bit of a history on this already. So the racks, the spotlights, the siren, the flashing lights, everything's been removed. And unfortunately, it was the, the guy just bought this from removed it all. And then the barn he had caught fire and uh, everything inside, all the equipment got lost. You can actually see the, that the decals here are actually all faded, not because of the sun, but because of the fire. <laughs> so, anyways, fortunately this got saved. And uh, he's had it for years. He's never once put air in the tires. And he says that this is going to start, so we'll see. Okay, we're going to give it a try now. Got a new battery in here too. bought this and it, look at that it's running I didn't do anything it's gonna run into gas this is awesome <laughs> 